Gladys Kimeu Mbengwa. Uh, I am a student and uh, I, was, I was here for the training for the two days. But now I've learned so much about reproductive justice and advocacy and uh, about self-care. So I think as much as we want to advocate for these things, we have to take care of ourselves as we take care of others. You have the voice, so let your voice be heard. Hi, my name is Amanji Kemoy. I'm a human rights advocate. And during the two-day training, I've been able to learn more about advocacy, how to approach key stakeholders and duty bearers, how to really talk to them so that they can get involved with it our issues as young people, especially the SRHR issues, which affect even the youngest of our populations, that is adolescents and children in school. I've also learned about our, our human rights, how human rights are interconnected. And also self-care is key. I should be able to take a step back when I'm feeling overwhelmed and reflect, and then I come back again. My name is Whitney. Mwenje from Lugari Sub County, a sub county in Kakamega County. Uh, first and foremost, I am so glad that I was part of this training. I have learned so many things ranging from advocacy, communication, self care. I intend to also take time off from time and again to just take care of myself because it becomes overwhelming at some point. Getting to know issues to do with GBV, rape, defilement, it gets into your heart, it gets into your mind, it is draining physically, emotionally, and you just need time, some time off to, to rejuvenate. My name is Nelly Mandegua. I'm from Kakamega County, Shinyalu Sub County. So um, I'll say that I have enjoyed the training. I've learned a lot more, and I think uh, one thing the training has, one thing that really stood out for me during the training is just how in touch we need to be with the policies and the laws that are um, that, uh, that that give guidelines when, when it comes to issues sexual and productive health rights. And going forward, what I'm going to do is learn, understand, ask questions to just really get a deep understanding of what it means and uh, how the implementation process is going with regards to the policies that are in place. And if there's some gaps there that need me to advocate or do some call to actions, I'll definitely do that so that moving in a few, in a year's time, there's actually a change that this training has actually brought. There's an impact that after this training can say that evaluate and say after the training this is what actually happened and yeah I'm so grateful to Youth Changes for giving me this opportunity to be to just meet other young people who are in the same who are in the same space I'm in. My name is Teresa Gift, a cop. I'm a sexual productive health advocate. I'm privileged to be part of the today training for the Youth Changes Kenya. I've been empowered on who to face when I want to do advocacy what issues I'm supposed to express and I'm advocating for the rights of young people, how I am supposed to advocate for them. But I'm going to be bold and I'm going to make a choice to bring change because the matters that are in our community are the things that are also affecting me. And when my community grows, I also grow. Okay. Nime difunza vene, zela face to let you encourage how to persuade them.